Hi, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So what I was getting was a pursuit, pursuit of happiness. Now, if you haven't seen that, that's a must seen film with Will Smith, with his sons actually in it. It's a good few years old. Um, and um, I want to focus on the title because of me most kind of, it's a kind of flippant thing that people do. They say they're happy, they're going for the happiness, and this title of pursuit of happiness is very um, important because it is a pursuit. Most people think, oh, that is my happiness and that person's going to make me happy and put no effort into it or put effort into something external of them to make a person generally to make that them make them happy, which is ridiculous because everyone is different i've got a twin sister and a twin flame and both of them are completely different to me so i ha uh, can't have an expectation just because we're twins that they're gonna make me happy let alone any other individual doesn't matter if your kids like i say this title pursuit of happiness if you watch it i love that film because it is is about the struggle to success and generally that's what most people don't do they just hope and wait and etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm also feeling um that with your situation the separation at the moment your person knows should know it's different it depends how long i mean i've been saying this well i say me but the collective this separation has happened for about between four to six weeks maybe give or take and i say give or take because it depends on how long it took your ass to separate from your person so if you separated when you had the download when the argument when it blew up which the planet does uh separate you for that reason then now I feel your person is actually waking up to, hmm, don't think he or she is actually coming back this time, right? That's what I feel is going on. Then they should then take make the changes. If you've literally just split up or you haven't split up, then no, why would they change, right? <laughs> it's like a child. You keep telling them different ways to tidy their room. Right. Thinking of all these gentle ways to do it. I'll tell them they can stay up an extra hour. I'll tell them if they clean their room. I'll tell them that they can go to their friend's house the next day. They clean their room. I'll tell them this and that. Now, you just be strict with them and say you must clean your flipping room. A, a complete different change of way of doing things. That's what this blew up for, because your way of saying your needs and your desires wasn't working like i said i feel that it's like um slowly recognition what waking up your person because before you might have put up with it right and it's not really putting up with it because there's a difference between putting up and you might put up with it for a long time i hold my hands up to that <laughs> right with your person but it's like and with an expectation of change putting up is something different than someone saying i'm a mass murderer and you're like oh, okay right you went with your person wanting a need and a desire and they they lied they said a lie of admission <laughs> i call it that because they do intend to do something but like i said with pursuit of happiness People say they're happy or this person makes me happy or this. You have to pursue it, right? And that so they, you make them happy, but they don't pursue you. And it's the same with, if you follow me, I, I said for five years, I, I was going to nail David's ass, Nail him. And I had to literally, that is part of the contract, part of the work, to work on myself to do things that are different i've never really mm, it's a strong word but chased anyone before david probably probably david probably wouldn't say i chased him but 
compared to me, I couldn't give two shits in my entire life if I was with someone or not. I don't care if Brad Pitt was there. It's not really my kind of thing. I don't really fancy anybody. I was literally thinking the other day, if David asked me, who do I fancy in celebrity world? I can't really think of anybody. That's not me. That's not my kind of thing. And boom, I meet David and I'm like, that's what I want. It was a pursuit right? Now it's for them to kind of do the same for you. And what it is, it's because of you have to go for things in life. That's what this teaches you. Absolutely. So if you're just sitting there and you're just waiting for your person to make changes, I'm like, how many people wait for that? Right? Hence your person never changes, right? They talk same as you talk, but nothing changes. And I feel that if you're not going back and they're not making the changes to pursue you, right, there's going to be a situation where you obviously meet someone else. If you're literally putting your boundaries up for someone that you genuinely love and you want to be with and you're putting yourself first not to go with that person, the universe will reward you by bringing in someone else. Fact. It's the law of gravity. Fact. So your person staying over there, taking their sweet ass time, not to worry, dear ones, channeled message. Well, all my readings are channeled. But that's how they talk upstairs, isn't it? Dear ones, right? Not to worry because they will reward you with your loving yourself. Absolutely love will come in. If your person chooses a free will planet, we will bring in another love situation. This isn't only... A career, they're not stupid upstairs. They know that you don't class career. Many people are rich, right, and abundant and, and happy as fuck because they haven't got a partner, right, on this planet. Um, career is very interest, uh, a, a very, what's the word, important? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that word? Because it's something else so you don't rely on a person to keep you happy. So having a good career, that's why we help you mentor into what your mission is, right? But also having your person, um, like I say, and if your person chooses, but you must be loving yourself, not just, yeah, I'll just wait for my person to come in. I'm just like, no, 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 no. You need help with that? I needed help with that? Book us. Go to the website. All right, so let's see what else we get for you, your situation, your person. So they're coming towards you. I think there's a plan. Like I said, if you literally haven't separated with them long, if at all, and you haven't told them your wishes and desires and just kept pull, pulling back, you could be cool with them because be still talking to them. But you're like, this is not engaging with long ass conversation, how's the weather and all that. But you tell them what you want and you pull back. This is what it is, right? They're not stupid, like I said in the reading yesterday. They know what needs to be changed. And if they are arrogant or oh, fuck you, cunt, after you separated from them, then you're as arrogant to think, well, all I've got to do is sit here and wait for them to come. I don't have to do anything. Like attracts up, like. You're just as arrogant. All they're doing is saying it to you, right? But there's an arrogance with inside of you. That's where people like with tarot, oh, I am a spiritual person. What? Because you buy a packet of deck look, for your swords, heartbreak. Because you buy a, a pack of decks, a, a, a deck of cards of eBay for Fiverr. You're spiritual. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Or as I sat at home, lonely, for your swords, right? Oh, I wouldn't accept this behavior. You, you stay at home lonely then until you learn. Until you learn. The true reasons of why you're on this planet. The air you breathe is of love. This is the love experience planet. Experience of love, right? So don't tell me if you're by yourself, there's a reason because you're not understanding how to live of this law of the planet. Fact, that's how it is. And I'll, I'll, I'll debate that all day long with anybody, right? <clears throat> I'm lonely because I'm happy with myself. Fuck off, you liar. That's what I would say to them. Sorry, just slipped out. <laughs> go with me, go with me. But that's what it is. You're a liar, all right? You've been hurt, so you're just focused on work or some shit like that. And that's not what this planet, hence the law of 
perpetual law of transmutation of energy so you can transmute negative situations to then go towards love simple as that let's jump into the cards i'm going off track as i normally do waffle off check out the website right it's loads of information i might later on do a page uh make a web page more about twin flame but if you want to know more about this then go to the uh, join the facebook i put a post in there today about the twin flame mirror most people talk oh there's a mirror there's a mirror so there's a little bit in there about that i'll do a, 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 a um about inner child the inner child is massive and that's what i'm trying to say about pursuing things oh, let's get into the cars what's that it's like um most people say no about the inner child what do they do about the inner child fuck all most people know about as above so below as within so without what do they do about that fuck all this planet isn't about just knowing and logic ones is wise action what actions do you take? So, oh, you've heard of the inner child. I question you. What is your inner child doing now? Mm, I don't know because I don't check on it. Well, you're supposed to because as within, right? <laughs> oh, you heard of as within, so without, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without, right? Yeah, so as above is channeled, right? I was watching this thing, free, free body program, mm, Netflix. Fucking hell. Uh, it's quite good because of it's about the uh, planets and universes uh, connected with um, all that kind of stuff. Aliens, although they always make out aliens are bad. I've got one more season, one more. Uh, anyway, and there was like she was talking about dimensions and she was like, yeah, uh, we're 3D. So we can't see because the planets are so far that we can't see that there's multi dimensions but once you come what if you got closer to it like if you see my hand it looks flat but if you turn it you can see that there's multi levels to it and that what is of multi dimensions and multi universes i'm like exactly but you're listening to a tower reader oh 5d i'm like what is there five levels is that it well infinite multi dimensions you know how many planets are out there who are you listening to? I don't know how many times I'm saying this. Who are you listening to? Someone who brought a pack of deck of cars for £5, £10 of eBay. Now they've got a stash load, which they put on their camera. So you can see all the different cameras. And they get channeled messages or they learn a booklet. And they're spiritual. Is that what you're listening to? I'm getting into the cards. I'm getting into the cards. I'm getting into the cards. If you're still here eight of cups yes death see then i say death keeps coming out eight of cards death and literally right how many times are you supposed to die on this planet one time right why does the death card keep coming out right because you gotta keep transmuting all this shit that's going on in your life you should have one big massive transformation but anyway eight of cups death card Three of Pentacles. Who are you listening to? Three of Pentacles is my who are you listening to? Wonder why I waffled off. Eight of Cups. I'll say it how it is, and it shouldn't be. Mm, well, okay, just spit it out, Sophia. Eight of Cups is you walking away from your past, and if this takes so long for this trans, trans this transition to happen. For the past to die, you're going to walk away from it and start again in another direction. It's like, yeah, see you later. I'm going in my own way. It's like the rest of the story, because the first two cards is eight of cups. Then it's kind of the death card, right? After the eight of cups. I don't know which way you're seeing it. First, second, right? Anyway, and it's like, if the eight of cups is the first card, it's like, if if death doesn't happen, transmutation doesn't happen, you're going in another direction. Forget the rest of the reading. That's what I'm picking up, right? And like I said at the beginning, that's with you. It's like, you can stay there and take your sweet off time. I'm not forcing you, this is to your twin flame, to do anything. All I'm literally saying is, this is my needs. I'm not ignoring my needs anymore. And if you're going to stay over there, taking your sweet ass time to... Um, do what is the good, the right thing to do, as long as your needs ain't fucking ridiculous, right? 
we can help you with that because normally your needs are from other people's telling you what their your needs are such as your person's mirror of what their needs are right as long as your needs are aligned within what you really want if not you're going into another direction the trans uh, um it's about collaborating with with the three of pentacles this is collaborating with people that make you feel to put you on track to who you really are i i don't want to big up myself because it's not really me but i listen to upstairs which you may call intuition right <clears throat> which is yeah tuition from upstairs right in up tuition in is upstairs tuition right so i listen to them and they guide me to guide people in mission on this channel this community of how to be a better version of themselves free of pentacles that's what i do and that's a wise teacher focusing on your inner child is focusing on and you think about when you're a child you do what the fuck you want you say what you want right and it's not literally you know you don't go out and rob really you're not killing anyone when you're a child you say i want to go to the toilet i don't want to be here anymore and, and you sound thirsty, right? Then these restrictions, prisons, institutions, schooling, anywheres that you're not allowed out of, right? Without permission or you get fined is a fucking prison, right? That's schooling these days. So children. So it's like you, you need wide about in, if your inner child is not, I'm doing a mission reading after this and I'm talking about the inner child. Um, if your inner child is not, if you can't even see your inner child or your inner child's not happy, inside is not happy, outside is a massive reflection. I would say different. I would say, because um, people just um, ignore what you say. Such a person ignores when you say, put me on the Facebook, right? They ignore it. So it says, as above, so below, as within, so without. I would say, I would, if you're still here, ask yourself this question. Are you happy outside? as without right then go within right because if you're shit outside and this is any any element of your life and don't lie that you're happy with your children need as well right uh, young children generally you know that age is fine but when they're older you're happy with their career path with their drugs with their friends and all that kind of stuff right no not really right if you're not happy then inside is not happy that's what this is the laws, laws of the planet is, is is gangster man and pretty um simple you listen to spiritual teachers who over bamboozle you with complex words and sayings right it's not really that like i said as above so below as within so without it's pretty basic right people have known of the laws of attraction like attracts like well, why do I act a control narcissistic? Because inside you was controlled, right? And you haven't released that. No, I'm not being controlled. Only this fucking person controlled me. Well, what controlled you when you was young? Did your parents control you that you couldn't have your friends, right? Hmm. Could you do the qualification or go to the, the college that you wanted? Did you want, was forced to go to school? You didn't want to go to school. Was you bullied at school? Did they tell you to do things you didn't want to do? It's called control. So inside, you haven't transmuted that with a law of perpetual, perpetual, continual, continual, perpetual law, transmutation of energy. Go and uh, YouTube it. Actually, it's connected to Twin Flames. That's why you have control inside. Hence, you attract your person who you say to us, oh, he's very controlling. And I'm like, yeah, it's a mirror. It's this planet, mate. It's, 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 it's how you live, right? So you release that control, right? Then you tell your person, oh, shit, yeah. I'm still following this control pattern from my childhood, from my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, these friends, this whatever, this boss was controlling me. I released that and my wants and desires, I am now pulling back to loving myself, right? Inner child work, children. So therefore, this is what my needs are, right? And you're not controlling my needs and I'm going for that and you pull back. That's it. 
That's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Hard to do when you fall in love and you have expectations and blah, blah, blah. I would say the program of this planet is so dark. So allow when you meet someone the opportunity to change. Don't judge them from a past experience. But then you will have red flags. Red flags. Hey, they're not changing. Hey, they're not changing. Hey, you need to move on. They're not changing. Hence, the Eight of Cups is the first card, right? And lovers, yeah, it is the lovers. Star, Nine of Swords. Just quickly, the Eight of Cups to the Death card. Before the Death card is, I think, the uh, Hanged Man. So, like I say, if you're hanging around and you're just hanging around waiting for something, no, Eight of Cups. Because Eight of Cups, the, the completion of emotional fulfillment on this planet, in tarot's definition, is Ten of Cups, right? There is no bigger com completion. Not Ten of Pentacles, that's 2, 3D. Ten of Cups is the biggest card. The happiest card is obviously the planet Sun, the Sun. Ten of Cups is second to the Sun, right? So this is about, let's just say, eight of cups, two more cups, right? Is choosing yourself. That's what this is. Because next to it is the death card. You're hanging around. Before the death card, you're just hanging around waiting for your person. He's got the, he or she's got the enlightenment because the hangman card before the death card enlightens to what their happiness is so it's for them to get off that fucking tree that uncomfortability hanging upside down on the tree hence the hangman card uncomfortability surrender right and go towards their happiness that's what you're waiting for at this time you waiting for them to come towards you and that leads to transformation hence then the death card right transform uh transfer death is fucking amazing this planet corrupted to death is crap i'm like oh my god it's amazing up there you look no heaven is all amazing why don't you we, we, okay we scared of the physical but you know i'm like you know you connect with them upstairs anyway and what since my mum died i've ever had the best relationship ever since she's been upstairs when she was alive fucking nightmare yes I am talking to her. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to say that. So the lovers, the star card, the nine of swords. So eight of cups to the lovers. The lovers is uh, massive because the lovers is, um, like I said, this planet, eight of cups, emotions, energy, emotion, cups, love. This planet is energy, not logic. I've just got to make that clear, Mr. David, in case you're listening. Hello. <laughs> Not logic, emotion, energy in motion, emotions, emotions. It's about you emotionally investing in your wants and your desires. The lovers, what you love, right? That's it. And until it comes to it's detrimental and it's against you. So, for example, I said, I'm, nail, I'm nailing my ass to go towards David, go towards David, go towards David. I was happy doing that. I love meeting him, chilling with him. Five years of videos talking about, I just love chilling with him and everything like that. Loved it, loved it, loved it, right? Then it comes to a stage where I'm like, hold on, it's going against me now, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not feeling like my needs are being fulfilled. I'm feeling like... I want to see his family now. I want to see his kids. So you go for something that you love, right? And then with the lovers here, and then until it's against you, your person is different. They, say, for example, have children. And the baby's mum or the baby's dad says, no, you can't. They're controlling them. You can't have your girlfriend or boyfriend to see the kids. I don't like that person. Don't know you in the fucking slightest, right? But they don't like you. Jealous, of course. We know this, right? They're jealous of you because they can see that your person shows love towards you that they never received. doesn't matter if they love them or not, right? Um, is that that your person, X, loves the person. They're jealous of how did this person make 
this my person x person loved them so much when i fucking married them had eight kids and they don't love me like they do with you do you know what i'm gonna do i'm pissed off they're not allowed to see my kids it's like well fuck you they're my kids as well but they don't say that because they love the kids but the difference is that there won't be a time where they'd be like, uh, like you, it's like, like I said, I was pursuing David, David, then it's like, hold on, it's against my needs. They have to come to a time to hold on, this puppeteering who I can control is against my needs. That's what this death card is trying to do. Wake them up to, you know, alignment with love. Do you see the hands from upstairs? How do you feel about love? Right? until it's detrimental to you then you stop if you know my story with my daughter i pursued her in court well not her her dad to get access to her for about two years and then i felt like i was gonna die right which like i said death ain't a bad thing but that means leaving my other kid <laughs> i'm like he'll struggle my son would struggle <laughs> without me here even though he knows how I feel about upstairs, because obviously he connects up there as well. He gets it. But obviously, um, suicide is going off track is another situation because billions of entity want to experience this planet. For people to go and suicide and uh, to go back up, it's, it's, it is frowned upon. Star card, lovers star card, some major shit up in here. What's going on? So there's major changes. Yes, we know that. What What's with these major cards? Big boy cards. Lovers, death, star. Ah, this is this is defining truths. Mm. Yeah, this is what the universe is trying to do. And I'll give my example um, with David. Um, as he knows, as you know. Fucking hell, I don't know how to say it. You know, the love for your twin flame is out of this world, right? Death God, out of this world. You, you can't say that enough. Everything about your twin flame, well, as of me with David, it, it, it bamboozles me how the fuck it, it, you can just fancy someone after I've known him for years, like as if you've met them yesterday, right? David can come in and I could be pissed off with him. All he's got to do is talk and I'll just go all jelly right? Most people say when they see David come up here making coffee and all that, and he talks to me, they can tell that I go straight away into my feminine. It's fucking amazing. But with the death card and the lovers here, this is, they are major cards. It's with these other non-major ones, let's just say around it, is like recognizing like nine of swords, but nine of swords is anxiety, nightmare, last card and all that kind of thing, it's like recognizing that regardless of how much I love that man, what's the nightmare? What is stopping me from going and being happy with my inner child? And what am I not collaborating with myself and with David with? That's what this is. So it's massive. David is massive. But this planet isn't about another being including children this is what is against myself mm, it is against myself i really want to see his kids i really want to be involved with and this isn't just i've just got to make this uh clear david in himself this is about anybody so for example is david that doesn't change then the next person i can learn that although i had this powerful connection with david the next person, it does go against my needs as the lovers, right? That's what I love, to feel like I'm important to my partner, that they are proud enough to show me off, for example, right? Proud to say, the reason why people kind of love the celebrity life they're very much programmed, we know this, right? Elite secret society, secret societies and all that, but... Why we love that is, for example, let's say J-Lo and Ben Affleck, right? If you listen to Ben Affleck, he doesn't really, he's very private. They're twin flames, hence your person, hence their, this, this thing about you, you, you trying to get your person on YouTube, the deluded perception from 
twin flames on YouTube, but YouTube is like television. So we have to, we as in upstairs, not me, have to show people how twin flames are like for you to resonate with someone or some being. But if you even got that, I pull it back, pull back, pull back. Ben Affleck, J-Lo. If you did listen to him, he'll say, I'll support my wife very much. And um, she had issues with her inner child and she's worked on that. I'm quite proud of her, right? I love her. We had a private wedding because it was just about me and J-Lo. I don't know what he calls her, or, you know, Jennifer, whatever, right? If you're not on a social media, not seeing the children and you're not on, on or, um, seeing their family and you're hidden with the dark, which is dark, right? Which is death is dark because known as dark on this planet. This is about this planet, right? You live on this planet. Although it's not dark, but it's perceived to be dark, your perception. Then, right, you are against oneself. That's why you love the celebrities. Because when they talk about their person, they tell, it's this, like, talk about how amazing you are, how amazing things are, right? That's what this is about. And so it's like, yeah, because feminines like that. They like to be felt like they are of some kind of importance and not just a housewife unless you just are and you love doing that right that's that that's what this is when they're not and they're disregarding you you feel like a whore and that's what they have to understand and that's what it is because it's commonly known out there that um, you only bring home to your family or to your mum the person you want to get married to. So if your person isn't bringing them to your children or to the family or putting you on the social media, it's like, what? Because I'm some fucking kind of whore. And that gets to your core because that is against who you really are. This is a deeper element of it. Because I was asking them, what's with the two bad boys and their nine of swords? It's like, so this nightmare overthinking continues right because you're not collaborating in the right way with someone you extremely love and it's about yourself the lovers is about balancing out yourself so it doesn't matter how you feel about this person if it's not aligning and balanced with the black and white you will walk away which is the intention of the planets now Because it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare, right? Because so party, other people were influencing stuff. This could be a, 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 a religion. This could be ego. It doesn't have to be actually people, but generally it is, right? I got married because my mum said, yeah, he'll do. He's, he, he's got a good job. It weren't even a good job. <laughs> but I married someone just because of that. People influence you, man. It may seem like it's taking long, but mastery cannot be rushed. You still have more to learn. That's with you. If you come on this channel, you're listening to other tower readers, and then I come and I'll bamboozle you with inner child uh, collaboration. Uh, uh, crystals don't do fuck all. Jesus sandals, hugging trees and breathing in fresh air don't do fuck all. Uh, laws of the planet, right? I bamboze you with that and it's like, yeah, you still so got so much more to learn. And you can't say I'm chatting shit. This then brings you to the knowledge of, hold on a minute, the other child readers, I wouldn't say chatting shit. No, I would say chatting shit. They wouldn't say chatting shit. I would say a limiting to you to what you need to learn to be a master we will teach you how to be a master to you to this planet to this universe why do you think people want to be like the celebrities because they they love their life and they love their career and they have money right if one can do it all can do it we all are humans being we are being a human on this planet that's it there's no differences in it. The upstairs, like I say, upstairs is fair. Upstairs is the, in tarot, I say the judgment and the magician card. Um, when you're aligned with the, uh, the balance of the justice of universal laws within yourself, you will manifest such without. 
So if you're aligned with, say you want to be a singer as good as Adele. I love Adele's uh, voice. Right? I don't know what's her latest song since Hello. That's how old school I am. Right, don't listen to music. Or, yeah, I think that was the last song I listened to. I think it's Hello. Or is that Lionel Richie? Anyway, right, if you want to be like Ed Adele, right, and you want to be like that, you have to literally feel that inside of you, right? That inner child singing, that celebrity inside, the people that you want to surround you inside, that happiness, where you're going to achieve. Look at those things. People just say visualize. Yes, but you have to know where you want to go and feel that. And as within, so without. Your pastor, don't tell no one, don't, and that's against you. It's literally against you when you're hidden. Like I say, when you go and then you're singing, you're like, I want to be a singer. I want to be successful. I'm going to auditions. I'm dressing up. You build up that energetic frequency, then it will happen. And you have to be convinced that you're going to be it, right? So the only conviction is if other people's negative thoughts around you. If you was by yourself, what people might say, I'm quite successful. I'm like, because I've got no one telling me otherwise, <laughs> right if i get an idea and i think this is pretty good and i'm passionate about it i go for it because i don't go and ask my sister ask my brother ask friends because i'm like yeah this is i love this and i go for it this community there's no communities on youtube right i never use youtube till i uploaded my first tower reading didn't watch anything on youtube let alone upload a video first video was the tower reading Right. I had the download intuition, make a fucking community. I done it. I didn't look to see if there was others. I just made it. And still there is no other communities. But this is successful. I am probably the only tarot reader with continual income since I've opened the channel. No other tarot reader can say that because I followed me, which is them. Right. Because we all are one. You know that saying we all are one. Yeah, because I collect with them lot. Not just Archangel Raphael. Is that all upstairs? Archangel Raphael. There's another one they keep saying. Michael, right? Is it only two of them, right? They must be fucking busy. <coughs> anyway, let's close this out. So mastery. Yes, see? Loads to learn. How much I've told you in this one video, I pretty much know a tower reading with 100,000 subscribers, 1,000 likes, uh, uh, how many uh, views, I'll tell you how much you learn in this one video and from us in this community. Go to the website, go to the Facebook group. And you're wondering why, oh, that's why I'm not moving forward. Eight of Cups, first card. Though you miss your person and stuff like that, but walking away, working on yourself properly, not just sitting there waiting with a crystal, right, in your hand, which is a plo crystals are pl plo placebo effects, right? You get yourself hyped up and you're holding and you're, you're getting in, you're holding this crystal and you're focusing. You can do that with just doing that now. Just close your fist, focus in on your fist, feel that energy, feel that. You see, you don't need no crystal placebo same with breathing in the fresh air fresh air is good obviously you know it's good apart from you know chemtrails stick to it stick to it i'm waffling off today please don't give up on me mm, this came out the other day like i said i feel each day i'm waking up the masculines are slowly slowly coming towards you but it's not a, it's like they know you're the happiness, just go get it. It's slowly, slowly is bullshit. And if they lose that, hey, ho, it's kind of like that. It's like, please don't give up on me, you're masculine. It's like, what? why? Because what I'm waiting for, uh, what exactly? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? It's like, say you want to be a singer like Adele and Simon Cowell comes and says, oh, I'm going to uh, sign you up. And you're like, hold on. Please don't give up on me, but hold on. And they'll be like, well, what am I waiting for? That's this, right? And that's why this Eight of Cups is here. 
I am trying to stop fighting how I feel about you. Why would they be doing that? It's the easier option. Some of you will just leave your person and then I have to learn their lessons the hard way. It's an unfortunate thing, but I think that's what's going on at the moment because it's not working their way, the way they want it. And yeah, they just keep fighting how they feel. But it's the same mirror with you. You fight the... Nah, it's all right, I don't have to be on their face, but nah, it's all right, I don't need to see their kids for now or whatever. And this is like, no, you have to come away from that, eight of cups. Same with your person, stop fighting how you feel about your person and divine feminines, stop fighting that you, you being your true authentic self. You do want to marry that person. You do want to see their family. You do want to have kids with them. You do want to live with them. You do whatever your version is, right? Stop fighting it now, right? That's what this divine time is. Now, stop fighting it. I think about you constantly. It's insane. I think um, that's with the divine masculines. The, 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 um, they constantly think about you. And that's the... <sighs> The push from the universe for them to come towards you? Because why are they always thinking about you then? If they, it's like, I'm trying to stop fighting how I feel about you, but I'm constantly thinking about you. So the universe is putting in another polarity where you're fighting something that you think about all the time, then you must want it. This is what you resist, persist, another universal law. Anyway. Uh, a bit about the laws here in this reading. So uh, you need help with this. And this isn't a question. You need help with this. All right. So book someone in this community. Speak to you later.